Welcome. In this video, we're going to be looking at meiosis. Now, before we continue, I highly recommend that you watch the mitosis video before you watch this. If you already have, then let's go. The purpose of meiosis is to create gametes. These are sperm cells and egg cells. And we know that these cells fuse together in a reaction called fertilization, which allows the parents' genes to continue to the next generation. Let's see how these cells are made. So we're going to start with a basic cell. It has 23 pairs of chromosomes. And just like mitosis, before meiosis can occur, the chromosomes have to replicate. Now let's look inside the cell and see what happens. We can see that the nucleus first starts to break down. The chromosomes then get released into the cytoplasm. Next, they line up in the middle of the cell, also known as the equator. However, here's where it's different to mitosis. The chromosomes line up in pairs. Once lined up, then we have these organelles called centrioles, which produce spindle fibers. These separate the pairs of chromosomes. The chromosome pairs are moved to opposite poles. Now we have two sets of chromosomes, however, they are different. A new nucleus forms around each set of chromosomes. Then the cell gets ready to divide by cytokinesis. Now we have two cells. However, meiosis does not stop here. The nuclei once again begin to break down and the chromosomes line up in the middle of the cell. Notice how now they have lined up as single file, just like in mitosis. Again, the centriole appear and produce spindle fiber. This pulls apart the sister chromatids. And now we form two sets of chromosomes in each cell. A nucleus envelops each set of chromosome. And once again, the cell begins to divide, producing four daughter cells. In a male, they can turn into sperm cells. And in a female, they will turn into egg cells. So that was meiosis. Okay, so now we've learned about meiosis and mitosis. So let's compare them. In mitosis, there is one division. In meiosis, there are two divisions. Mitosis produces two daughter cells, whereas meiosis produces four daughter cells. The daughter cells in mitosis are genetically identical, or you can call them clones. In meiosis, however, they are genetically different, and this leads to variation in offspring. The daughter cells in mitosis have 23 pairs of chromosomes each, meaning they are diploid cells. From meiosis, each daughter cell only has 23 chromosomes, meaning that they are haploid cells. And most importantly, why are there two types of cell division? Well, the purpose of mitosis is to grow, repair and replace cells. Whereas meiosis is to produce gametes so you can have offspring. Hey guys, if that video helped you, support our channel by liking, subscribing and sharing it with your friends. And more importantly, if you still have questions, drop a post on our forum at examqa.com where I will personally be there to help answer your questions. Mohammed signing out.